Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You set up your accounts within the Maintain Chart of Accounts window by selecting Maintain from the menu bar and then choosing the Chart of Accounts command. In this window, you would need to assign the account an account ID, a description, and then select the Other Current Assets account type in order to create another Current Assets account. Let's take prepaid rent or prepaid expenses as an example. Suppose your landlord requires a six-month prepayment of the rent for your building. Also assume that you are spending $1,000 per month on rent. Now you wouldn't want to write a check for $6,000 and then simply apply it directly to the rent expense account within the first month as that skews when the expense was actually incurred in your balance sheet and other financial statements. Instead, you would want to track the amount paid to cover the next six months of rent in an other current assets account, from which you will deduct the amount of the rent as it is then expensed or incurred over the next six months. So first off, you're going to need to create an other current assets account called something like prepaid rent or prepaid expenses within your maintain chart of accounts window. Then you would write the check to the landlord for the next six months of rent. Now, instead of simply attributing the entire amount of the check to the rent expense account, you want to show that it's actually increasing the value of the prepaid rent account. You're essentially trading a decrease to the cash or checking asset account for an increase to the prepaid rent asset account. All you will have to do at that point is ensure that each month after, instead of writing a check for the rent, you will decrease the value of the prepaid rent account and then attribute that amount to the rent expense account as it's incurred. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.